Sadly, I think y'all missed that due to me not charging the batteries on the camera last night. Ah, darn it. Four days we've been playing with this thing off and on. Finally, we got enough of it out. In the process, probably semi-destroying this bearing case. Uh, to actually cut the bolts off. <laughs> it's the best we could do. After drilling them out and everything else, they moved inside the, the bolt holes so they weren't still stuck or they didn't have enough head on them, but they would not come out. I haven't tried to drive them out yet. And it's of course my first assessment also. Besides that, it looks beautiful, of course, so this is a shame. Total shame. At one point, we were out with our mall hammers. And of course your disc grinder here or disc cutoff disc. That ain't never good when you're trying to put together a a whole uh, top end of a transmission basically or an outdrive. Besides so that, it does look good. Shame. But we do have other parts and we're gonna spend a little time here cleaning up after this uh tragedy so to speak and we will be back in a little while with more details about the top end and whether we're going to be able to salvage it or uh, it's going to have to go towards the recycling bin in the sky. So we'll be back. Should have sent that off to NASA to be studied for future spa space station building. Those things were together to stay. We have our pieces apart finally. Four days, I believe. With a massive amount of hammers and chisels and anything else, cut off disc. But need to correct something first off. Uh, when I said earlier in the videos that we drilled these out, I actually meant that I had drilled out the heads in about I don't know three eighths of an inch down into the actual. Holes themselves, and they did move, but apparently they weren't coming out of the actual this here. And so we now have three that need to be removed, and that's not good. So our hopes are going up and down at like every fraction of a second here on this whole thing, because in reality is. The actual where the bearing race sits, I never mean the shims, it's actually perfect <laughs> with all the, the destruction that we've done to it. And it rides right here on this, it has really nothing to do with that. That actually holds the back half of the bearing in place forward, so and it this pushes on that. So as long as this and that are flat and not disturbed, it's actually, uh, no matter what, we should go back together with a little bit of uh, cleaning up. Nice thing about it though is I have three others in reserve all ready to go if needed. But I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. But we'll find out shortly. Uh, I had to spend a little time cleaning everything up before we ever got started. And uh, we had so many assembly lubes and homemade assembly lubes including acetone and, and transmission fluid which a lot of people seem to think that were works wonders but it didn't work at all on this but we had so much we spent a little time cleaning things up. Before we're going to go ahead and we're going to disassemble. We're going to disassemble the, the top half here. The top half. We're going to the top cap. We're going to take the ship cover off and uh, probably going to leave this in, this gear and bearing set. It's just, there's no reason to take it out. And to be honest, if uh, it gets to that point, I mean, it's already past what we normally would have just said, okay, and junked and set off and bought ourselves when it was intact from eBay. But since we're making a video here and we're trying to save money, in the process. This is what we're doing. We haven't really got that much further in this. 
into this top half anyway. Like I said, they're usually so cheap we just end up replacing them. But from our understanding, we need to take this Allen head bolt out. Right there. And then you put it back in about, I don't know, three or four turns, just you know where it sticks out a little bit. And you're supposed to be able to tap it. And the shaft shall loosen up inside, and this whole assembly will kind of come out. Uh, it's basically this in reverse, but that side, that side has a splined kind of yoke on the end, uh, kind of like this one. But that's the plan. Now the plan so far really hasn't worked out too well. <laughs> so. <laughs> It's definitely been an out drive that we've uh, couldn't have picked a worse one. I mean, we've, like I said, we've just did one recently right here, and uh, had nothing like this, and it was also a saltwater drive. I mean, you could see some issues, but nothing like this has been. I mean, four days of soaking and beating on with big giant chisels and a two-pound maul. I mean, we really had, at the end of the 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 trying to get it apart we just basically we wanted this to break off i mean that's just what we were we were slamming it and it loosened and surprisingly i think it actually slid back on the, off of the bearing here itself so we are again it's another one of those down moments where we're kind of looking at it going okay if this comes apart and there's damage inside then we can't use it and we have to get it all back up but the backup isn't shimmed like this one is so at that point, do we just say, okay, risk the damage or go on eBay and find one for 100 bucks? Start over. So, dilemmas, dilemmas. But for now, we're going to see how far we can take it. If we can get everything back to 99.9%, .9%, we'll go with what we got. But the only way we're going to find out is to get these guys out, get the rest of it apart, get that apart, and see how we stand. And the only way we're going to get there is to go to work so I guess we're at fast forward again oh also as a side note I was online and I noticed that uh, a lot of farmers tend to take rubber seals and stuff like this especially ones that can't be re you know replaced or they're really hard to find and uh, what they'll do is they'll smoke soak them in transmission stop leak you know, the fluid you dump into your transmission to stop it from leaking. It'll plump all the rubber back up. And uh, as long as they're not, like, you know, dry rotted and deteriorated. And actually, if they're even a little, I don't know, uh, cracky, it tends to fix all that because it makes it all swell up. So you soak that stuff in it overnight. And, uh, or soak your stuff in the fluid overnight. And next day and i tell you what it really does work too we've used it in the past so but it's time for us to go to work That's what it's been taking to get stuff out of this motor, out of this outdrive. Wow, this is like a two-pound maul, and we're still not sure whether this can be fixed or not. Again, you'll never go through this on the average outdrive. That's for sure. But uh, we're definitely taking it to the limit on this one. Speaking of taking something, I'm taking a break. <laughs>